hello everyone today we are going to solve a problem on the type 2 of eccentric bolted connections which is when the line of action of the eccentric load is perpendicular to the plane of the group of balls so let's go and check out the question so it says investigate the safety of the bolt connecting the bracket plate and the column flange in the arrangement as shown in the figure this is the figure okay the balls are 20 mm diameter and the factor load on the bracket plate is 180 kilonewton that means this is the factor load 180 kilonewton eccentricity is 250 mm this one the uh, thickness of the bracket plate is 10 mm then assume the grade of the ball to be 4.6 and the steel grade to be fe410 now in this type of question uh, the type 2 where the load is acting here and it is the line of action of the load is perpendicular to the plane of uh, the bolted connection here so what does that mean like similar to the type 1 we can replace the load here w and we'll get a moment here m okay so due to this load here at this point what will happen this is going to twist in this way so that means what these balls will be under tension somewhere these balls will be under tension and when this load is acting here this portion will tend to move inward so causing compression here somewhere but which balls will be under compression and how many balls will be under tension how we will know that that will be determined by some neutral axis okay this new the balls above the neutral axis are will be always under tension okay and the balls which will be below the neutral axis those will be under compression the distances the spacing between the balls are already given here so let's start to solve the problem but before solving i want to show you something in clause number 10.3.6 okay of is code this is clause number 10.6 of is code page number 76 here you can see one thing this when balls are subjected to combined shear and tension that means in this type we already know that the balls will be under shear and tension so whenever this type of bolted connections which are under shear and compression they have to satisfy this condition that is vsb by vdb whole square plus tb by tdb whole square should be less than or equal to one now what are your vsb vsb is the factor shear force acting on the bolt and what is the factor shear force we already know the direct load was there that will be divided on among all the balls equally so p by n design shear capacity is nothing but the strength of the bolt factor tensile force acting on the bolt we'll see design tension capacity also it is mentioned here so now let's start with the uh, this is the clause number 10.3.6 okay now let's start with the step number one step number one is to find out the height of the uppermost bolt why we need to find out the height of the uppermost bolt because we will try to find out the neutral axis the distance or the height of the neutral axis from the bottom of the gusset plate so this was the figure given to us <coughs> and here we'll see the height of the uppermost bolt this bolt height of this we'll see from the bottom now since all the distances are already given so we can easily find out this height from this bottom point so that will be nothing but 40 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80 which is 360 mm that means this distance is 360 mm next step is to find out the height of the neutral axis above the lower edge of the bracket plate we know this dimension we already determined this this length we already determined to find out where the neutral axis will lie that is given by h by 7 and h is nothing but this is your small h okay this is your small h 360 mm so 360 by 7 will be your 51.43 that means this is 40 mm this distance from bottom is 40 mm this distance is 40 mm so 51.43 will be somewhere here this distance neutral axis 
okay somewhere here is the neutral axis this is our this red color one is our neutral axis okay which is 51.43 mm now once we know the neutral axis we know that the balls above the portion above the neutral axis is under tension this portion and the compression per compression or this below the neutral axis this portion is under compression that means these two balls are under compression these are under tension okay so next is step number three which is to calculate the factor tensile force acting on the balls so that is given by k into y max now what is k k is w in w by summation of y square plus 2h by 21 into summation of y what is y y is the distance of each ball from the neutral axis suppose these two are the balls the distance of these two balls from this will be same the distance of these two balls from the neutral axis will be same similar to this similar for this similar for this so let us first of all find out we know w what is w what is e is the eccentricity w is the load acting h we already have calculated the height of the uppermost ball now we need to calculate the y so y is what y is the summation this is the summation of y that means 2 into 11.43 is nothing but this these two balls are uh, the neutral axis the distance of neutral axis is how much from the bottom edge 51.43 so 51.43 if we subtract this 40 mm this distance this distance from 51 we'll get this this distance we will get this distance that is 11.43 distance of these two balls from the neutral axis now what is 68.57 this 2 into 68.57 is this distance distance of the neutral axis from the center of these two balls and that is you can find out how 40 plus 80 minus if you do this portion 51.43 you will get this distance similarly for this to this one for this to this for this to 308.57 is the distance from here to the neutral axis once we know the we know the y so we can find out the summation of y square also nothing but the square of all the y's summation of all this then we will get the value of placing all the values what we will get we will get the value of k which is now what is y max y max is this distance distance of the uppermost ball from the neutral axis which is 308.57 from all this we know which is given to us the distances of each ball so that means now tb will be this k value k into our y max that will give us to be this much 3406.13 so step number three is done now step number four is to find out the shear load shear load is nothing but the total load by the number of balls already in the first step we have discussed this thing w by n w is the load place the load which is 180 kN. so we got to be this much our shear load 1800 18000 newton now what is your next step is to calculate the shear strength of the ball we already have discussed this also in our first uh, type or in the previous video so the you already know you have to go to page number 75 this one this is your the smaller of the shear capacity this and this bearing capacity will be your design strength you already know these things and you can go and check the previous videos also if you want but I'll just show you this thing already we know this are the to calculate the shearing strength to find out the ball strength we have to first of all that the shearing strength these are the uh, things we have to calculate f u by root 3 nn into by an into a n plus n s a s b 400 by root 3 this we got to be our 
VNSB we got it to be 06590.5 Newton okay then next is this is VDB VDSB how we got gamma MB from table 5 we know VNSB we have calculated this so we got our VDSB also there is Zen strength of the shearing strength of the bolt next is to calculate the bearing strength this one bearing strength we already know that to find out bearing strength we have to know these things d we know t we know diameter of the bolt we know thickness of the plate we know f u we know k b is the smaller of these four so let us calculate edge distance we already know 40 mm from the figure pitch distance is also we know from the figure 80 mm e by 3 d naught is comes to be 0.606 uh, P by 3 D naught minus 0.25 comes to be 1.212 FUB by FU comes to be 0.976 and 1 is there. The smaller of these 4 is your 0 0.606. So VDPB we can easily find out this much. So that means smaller of the bearing strength and the shearing strength which we already calculated before this is our shear strength of the ball that means 4527 newton is our shear strength of the ball next is to calculate the design tensile strength of the ball for this we have to go to clause number 10.3.5 page number 76 10.3.5 this one from here we get VDP V uh, T N B is equal to 0 0.9 FU into A N this one F U B we already know 0 0.9 F U B is 400 the ultimate tensile stress of the bolt A N is the net area of the bolt which is we already know it is 78 percent of the bolt area so we got this much now therefore tdb will be how much fub is 400 the ultimate tensile stress of the bolt an is the net area of the bolt which is we already know it is 78 percent of the bolt area so we got this much now therefore tdb will be how much <coughs> tnb by gamma mb TNB we already calculated gamma MB we know from table 5 so we got our tensile strength next is the last step is the final step is to find out the uh, to check okay. which we in the first step we already have uh, seen that we have to check for safety this thing which we have already calculated now all the all this four we already have calculated now so we can check from this clause number 10.3.6 this clause so if you go this was the condition and we got already we have got all the values now we have calculated all the values so let us see what the answer comes to be the answer is 0 0.40 which is less than 1 that means our design is safe so this was the this was a problem on the type 2 where we are asked to investigate the safety and also if we are asked to design the this kind of connections what we'll do we have to check this condition whether this condition is safe or not and the number of balls if it is not provided we know already know from type 1 what is the number of balls how we how we need to calculate the number of balls and if you have missed out that video you can go and check the previous video on type 1 where i have mentioned all these things so yeah thank you for watching and if you uh, have any comments you can comment me and also if you have liked the video then please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel for uh, further more videos and um, thank you.